Hey, what up guys? Sneaky Breaks here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Tournament of Elements set, as you can see right here. If you haven't yet, make sure to check out the other video in which we build the Tournament of Elements set. Alright, let's get started. As you can see here, we have Bolobo. As a matter of fact, he came out in the season of Tournament of Elements, and he has power of nature. Let's put it right back. Oops. Next up, we have Gravis. Gravis has two faces, as you can see. Let me move it around. And he has the power of gravity. So you basically can just make gravity light or make gravity stronger, depending on how he wants gravity. That's his elemental power. After that, we have Kai. Here is his legacy uh, remediation that they did for him. He has this staff, which I don't know what it actually is for. They just gave him a little funny looking staff or a scythe. Up next, we have Jay. If you see here, he's wearing roller skates, which is not really for him in particular, but it did come with the set and it's supposed to go in a treasure chest over there. He's also a legacy remediation of the Tournament of Elements, Jay. So you can see here we have Izor, which is another legacy remediation because the legacy sets usually remediate the characters so they look more like the new ones. Let's put him right back. Here we have Jacob. Jacob has the power of sound and he's able to manipulate it so he knows where he's going. Sort of like a bat since he is blind. Up next we have the Golden Ninja from the 10 year anniversary of Ninjago. Oops, I dropped a lot of them there trying to get him. Let me put them back up. Matter of fact, we don't need these figures anymore, so let's get rid of them. The Golden Ninja, as you can see here, is Lloyd. As a matter of fact, they have more Golden Ninjas for the 10 year anniversary. They have a Golden High Wu. I think they have for all of them, but Neo and Zane haven't come out quite yet. If you see here, there is a 10 year anniversary stamp which you can have him stand up in there or you can take him out to play with however you would like and the set also comes with this golden spinjitsu as you can see it's relatively cool and you can connect it to this thing so you can actually play with it like this if you want to be, to be able to control it if not you can put this top right here and you can spin it. I'm not gonna do that right now because it's gonna go all crazy. All right, let's take a look at the house itself. Over here we have a spinner in which, you know, you can train um, with these things that look like J-Blades, but they are not actually J-Blades. I'm pretty sure the J-Blades of Legacy are this one right here at the top. and a secret one hidden in the base. Right here. Of course, these J-Blades don't really match the show since they are a legacy remediation. Over here, I put a real J-Blade hidden in the box just to kind of represent it, how it's supposed to really be. Overall, the set looks pretty nice and here there are some banners with the anaconda because we know that Shen likes anaconda a lot so this kind of basically concludes the set oh there's also one more thing as you can see here we have the dragon prince which will look pretty cool if you combine them with the golden weapons because it will make them look more real to the show so yeah 
that basically concludes the whole set. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Hey, you! Subscribe! Subscribe!